Hi guys, I'm Song Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I am making easy and super quick homemade version of spicy chicken miso ramen. So I've shared many ramen recipes and all of them are like a real tradition and like takes a lot of time and effort and energy. So I decided to share a quick and fast ramen recipe but still pack up with real authentic flavor. Yes, 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 I know you guys want this. That's why I decided to share and I've been boiling my broth for 30 minutes and and it's already halfway done. And in this broth, there is one bulb of garlic that I cut in half, one medium-sized onion that I peeled and cut in half, two ounces of ginger slices, two medium-sized carrots, four green onions, five dried shiitake mushrooms, two sheets of your hand or palm size of kombu dried seaweed, eight cups of cold water, and five cups of chicken stock. Bring it to boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to medium and simmer for 30 minutes. So my broth has been simmering 30 minutes now. I'm going to add two boneless skinless chicken breasts. and half cup of rice wine. If you want to, you could use four chicken thighs instead. And now I'm going to cover it back up and let it simmer additional 20 to 25 minutes or until chicken is fully cooked. So meanwhile chicken is cooking, this is our time making tare, which is a sauce for the ramen and some flavored oil for the, uh, the ramen. So make it this simple cheating version of ramen, like real amazing authentic flavor. So let's make the flavor oil first. You will need a thin slice of ginger, about two to three of them and two cloves of garlic that I'm going to just crush and in a small saucepan add those in and one and a half tablespoons of gochugaru Korean red pepper flakes or you can use just regular red pepper flakes Thai red pepper flakes whatever red, <laughs> red pepper flakes that you have in your kitchen and this little small packet of gachobushi gachobushi is a smoked bonito fish flakes and you can buy this easily from Japanese market or Asian grocery store or online as well. I will put the link down below where you can purchase online. Nowadays, katsuobushi is a very popular ingredient to cook either Japanese or Asian cuisine. So it's very easy to find. Let's add a half cup of olive oil. So I'm using half cup of olive oil, but you could use vegetable oil, canola oil, any oil that you have in your kitchen. Okay, now I'm going to place this on a stove over low heat and let it just slowly heat it up and infuse their flavor for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, the flavor oil is ongoing and now let's working on the tare. Tare means the sauce and it's where the most seasoning and the salty savory flavor is coming from for the ramen. So for the tare, we are making spicy miso tare today. So you will need a half cup of miso. Honestly, you can use any miso that you like, either white miso, red miso, or yellow miso, which is a half and half of white and red miso. So whatever you have in your house or you can find, either one will work. I'm using yellow miso because I really like the flavor in between the white and the red miso together. That's my favorite miso. Half cup of sake, rice wine and half cup of mirin, the seasoned rice wine. If you don't wanna use alcohol in your cooking, just go ahead and use water instead. The flavor might slightly different because sake is a fermented rice wine, so it has a still the flavor even though the alcohol is cooked off and everything, but still gives really this mild um, the flavor into the sauce and I really, really love, but um, I totally understand if you don't wanna consume alcohol in your recipe, so. And for nice spiciness, we are gonna use this tu banjang. This is chili bean paste. Uh, you can easily find this in any Asian grocery stores nowadays, or even regular grocery store at the Asian food section. You can find online as well. I will put the link down below, so check it out. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of tu banjang. 
like two keeping tablespoons. So dubanjang is like salty, spicy, and all the same time, like a little tangy flavor. I really, really love dubanjang in this miso tare because it just combines with miso really, really well. Some reason you're having a hard time finding dubanjang, then go ahead and use chili garlic paste, the sambal, yeah, that will do the job too. Whisking everything together, and they are nice and smooth. So they are ready to go to the stove and bring it to boil over medium high heat and let it keep hard to boil for two to three minutes. Oops, I forgot to add garlic and ginger into my tare. So all you need is just three cloves of garlic and same amount of ginger. Just grate using your cheese grater or zester straight into the tare. Stir the tare occasionally so it won't burn on the bottom. All right, it's time to check our chicken. Okay, let's see. Where is the chicken? Chicken, where are you at? You don't wanna overcook the chicken, especially chicken breast. They're gonna be dry out even though you're boiling in water or broth like this. So be careful to not to overcook it. Take out the chicken and turn off the heat. And I'm also going to take out shiitake mushrooms. Just make sure you squeeze out the juice from the shiitake mushrooms because they are really soaked up all the broth in here. So make sure you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You know, sometimes chicken breast can be a little boring texture. So shiitake mushroom will be definitely a great addition to the texture. All right, now this is a time to remove all the solid ingredients from the pot as well. Remove all the big chunky stuff first and then using a strainer and trying to get rid of as much as possible so we are ending up with really clean broth. This, I don't need Jacob's help to strain the whole entire broth, you know what I mean? All right, now we are going to cover the broth and broth is ready to go. This ramen broth is ready to rock and roll. So I'm just gonna turn it off the heat and just keep it warm. And right before I serve, I'm just gonna bring back to boil. So now just let the chicken and mushroom to cool down slightly so we can slice the mushroom and shred the chicken. I just drained my flavored oil and also I shredded my chicken, sliced my mushrooms and my tare is nice and cooled. So now I'm gonna put the flavored oil aside. And this is solid ingredients from the flavored oil. We are not going to waste it. And let's add all this except big chunky garlic and the uh, um, ginger, discard this. Just add all everything else into the chicken and the mushrooms. We are also going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. So this way the chicken will absorb all the umami flavor from the leftover, the flavored oil, and some salty savor from the soy sauce and little sweetness from the sugar. It's gonna be so good. I tried to stir fry this chicken and the mushroom in the wok for nice smoky flavor, but that only dried out the chicken and it wasn't just a um, super success story, I wouldn't say. Okay, last touch, a little bit of black pepper and our spicy chicken is ready to rock for our miso ramen. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, all my ramen condiments are ready to go. So my broth is nice and hot. My tare flavored oil ready to go. My chicken and mushrooms are nice and seasoned. Super delicious. It's really, really yummy. And some chopped green onion. My ramen egg. I have a ramen egg recipe right here. Check out my video. And some chopped kimchi. I thought kimchi is really amazing for this spicy chicken miso ramen. The flavor is a 
so good and some nori sheet i'm going to cook my fresh ramen noodles that i got from my local japanese grocery stores yeah if you're lucky like me living in california is so amazing or uh, new york too uh, you can get this fresh ramen noodles in the frozen section or you can use any 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 dried or frozen fresh any ramen noodles that you can find you can use it even instant ramen noodles that's the only one thing you can get go ahead and use it any ramen noodles will do i'm lucky enough to use fresh ramen today so let's just cook it and whatever uh, ramen noodles you are using just cook it following the directions of the package you are using okay so since this is a fresh ramen noodles it takes only about one to two minutes it doesn't take that long so while the ramen noodles are cooking in the one to two minutes then we are going to quickly assemble the bowl so you will need about quarter cup of the tare that we made per serving you can add a little more if you like a little more saltier side and about a tablespoon of this flavored oil this flavored oil really makes a huge difference and oh my goodness my the water is over boiling right now okay so watch out <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit okay that's good and now let's put oh this Oh, smells so amazing this hot ramen broth over the tare and the flavored oil oh it's gonna be so good look at that so you will need about two cups of the broth per serving it's time for the noodles pretty much done i'm gonna turn off the heat you're just gonna add this noodles straight into the broth and you know the trick that i like to do stir the noodles in the soup so noodles we coated it evenly with the flavor from the broth and tare and everything and just grab a bunch of noodles and just lay them down just like so i'm gonna put some kimchi first the chicken that we made earlier green onion finally the egg and nori uh, the dried seaweed or in korea we call it kim Jacob is not at home, so he cannot taste it right now, but I will definitely make for him later today for dinner. But yeah, oh my gosh, can I just dig in? <laughs> so, oh, oh, look at that. Ah, I love my ramen spicy. If you're like me, give this video a video thumbs up already. I'm tumbling right now my words because I'm so excited. Let's taste the broth first. Mm. Oh yes. Oh, so good. Mmm. <sighs> it's so delight. It's not like really heavy like a tonkotsu ramen. It's like this kind of ramen I can eat like almost every day, every meal, seriously, because the flavor, the spiciness, and everything is just so my style. <laughs> I'm like this girl right now, like in real life right now. If you want to, you could just use store bought chili oil that works perfectly too, but just making the homemade flavored chili oil is definitely makes a different level of the flavor in the ramen. If you're looking for a different style of a chashu or topping, check it out my pork belly uh, chashu for the ramen or my teriyaki chicken will actually really delicious on top of this ramen. Yes, dude, achieving this kind of flavor in one hour only in Asian at home. Ramen egg is perfect in here. Seriously, if you loved my this quick and easy cheating version of spicy chicken miso ramen, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house 
making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Gast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>